Paging Aitken Robertson to courtroom number two. The jury is back with a verdict. Members of the jury, how do you find the accused? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty on all accounts, your honor. Welcome back everyone to the Legally Speaking Aiken Robertson YouTube channel. Today I've got Sudeen Riley again. Hi Sudeen. Sudeen, today we will be discussing what happens if during a sexual assault you have been charged you lose the trial or you plead guilty, what are the penalties that a person could potentially face if found guilty? So if someone is found guilty, the consequences could range from jail time uh, to fines. Now, how long a person may potentially serve in jail is uh, case specific. It's really difficult to say, and um, it would include a number of factors, uh, essentially, such as uh, the how the matter was uh, proceeded before the court was it by indictment was it by some re-election and of course it would be based on your submissions as the lawyer that is put before the court and of course the individual that is before the court very many factors would impact what a person would um, receive in term, terms of jail time and of course, the same situation applies with fines. Then are there any other collateral consequences to a conviction that might, might not be as obvious from for, for the lay person? First, a person could be put on the, the sex offenders registry. And there is a federal sex offenders registry, which is uh, commonly called SOIRA. So if you are convicted, you must register um, with a Federal Sex Offenders Information Registry Act, providing your personal details to the RCMP. Registration may be lifelong. It may be for 10 to 20 years. It really does depend on the offense. Of course, there is Christopher's Law, which is a provincial registry where Ontario residents must comply with the Ontario Sex Offender Registry for 10 years to life. And of course, this is also uh, dependent on the, on the offense. Now, there can be community restrictions as well. The courts may impose restrictions such as prohibiting contact with minors, visiting certain places, or even using the internet. You will get a criminal record. A sexual assault conviction appears on your record. This can affect your prospects of employment, volunteering, and of course, other opportunities. You may in the future be potentially eligible for a record suspension or what is known as a pardon, but that will, of course, come after a certain period. Now, if you are are involved in family court, if you have children, this could affect custody and access to the children. And it could even lead to civil liability for damages that may result from the assault. Although civil suits, they do have a lower burden of proof than the criminal proceedings. This is something that can come from a conviction. Of course, there are such things as well, like travel and immigration consequences. Um, you may be denied entry to certain countries, uh, most notable or neighbor, the United States. And even with the Canadian char charges, if they're discharged, other countries may consider that conviction valid. And of course, the stigma, the, the social stigma that comes with being on the sex offenders registry and the conviction itself. 
It, it can lead, as I said, to difficulty finding work, volunteering, participating in your community. And of course, it has all of these long lasting effects on your reputation and um, on your integration back into society. Thank you so much for joining us today for the Aitken Robertson Legally Speaking YouTube channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. And until next time, stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for tuning in to Legally Speaking, proudly brought to you by Aitken Robertson Criminal Defence. We represent clients facing criminal charges all over Ontario, providing you with legal support and dedicated advocacy. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more content, please like and subscribe to our channel. For more information, visit our website. We also offer free books on various types of criminal charges, which you can request on our website or by using the QR codes on your screen now. For legal assistance, call us today or visit our website to request a meeting with one of our experienced lawyers or licensed paralegals. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Legally Speaking.